G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, it's early morning at the moment, so I've got a little bit of sun shining in on my paw, so hopefully it's not going to be too distracting. Right, I'm going to do uh, just a little paw for you this morning. Um, I have to go to work shortly, but I thought I'll just get a quick one in because I want to try these colours out. Black, red, gold and white in a ring pour. So my pouring medium that I'm using, I'm just trying my 321 again, Floetrol, PVA and pouring medium. So that's what's in my cups and I've got two parts of that to one part of paint. And I've got my global, so it's metallic gold and just the plain black, cool red, and just a plain white. So there we go, those are my colors. So it's a bit tricky when you're using reds and whites because obviously they make pink and black and white's gonna make gray. So do need to be aware of that, but there's not much I can do about that, is there? So I've made up a little bit of extra black. I think I've got about 550 grams of mixed paint all up for today's pour. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter card, which is a 12 by 16 inch. And as I said, I made up a little bit of extra black just to pop on my corners here, like so. And this is my thick card that I use just to practice on. Sometimes you don't want to do a whole canvas and use a, a big canvas and a lot of paint. You just want to try something out. So these are great for that. So I'm going to layer each color in twice. You may have seen my traveling dirty paws lately, uh, where I just tipped the paint there and let it run down. So this is similar, but I'm actually gonna pour in circles. I have done these a while ago, so if you wanna see them, just have a look at my other videos. So I'm gonna do red next, half of the red. And I don't wanna put the white next to the red, so I'm gonna go with the gold next. And then I think, because I don't want white and gold together, I'm gonna to go with the black again. And then I will put the white in because it's gotta go somewhere. Gotta go somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, what will I put next? Just done the black. Mm, all right, let's go with the gold again. And then the red. Finish off the red. Doesn't have to be exactly the same order each time you layer them. You can mix it up a little bit. And then some more black. I'll finish off that black. I might only put the gold, the uh, white in once actually, just to see what happens. As I said, it's just a little practice to see how these colors go. It's only a little card, so I can always do another one. Not wasting too much paint here and finish it off with the gold. So I've only got the white in there once. I think I've got, I think I've got two golds, haven't I? Two reds. I think I've got the black in three times though. So hopefully the black won't be too dominant. All right. So I'm just going to pour from the spout here in the middle and I'm just going to do little circles. I want to get quite close to the card because I want more folds than a long stream. Round and round we go. Love doing this, love the patterns. Here comes the red. My red seems to be a little bit thicker than the other colors. It's sort of ribboning more when it pulls out. Here comes the white. Round and round we go. I find the closer I have my jug to the card, the easier it is for me just to pour my little ribbons out. If I get higher and higher, it tends to get a bit wobbly. As the paint drips down, it sort of goes a bit wobbly and I lose my round shape. 
Not sure if this is too much paint or not, but I guess I'll find out. And just catch the drips at the end so that you don't leave a trail. All right. It's looking pretty. Well, you can definitely see where that white was. I'm just going to torch it to get rid of any air bubbles because it was poured it quite fast. There we go, popping them all. You can probably see where they're popped. You get little dips there. Oops, there goes my flamethrower again. Alright, that's enough. I don't want to melt my paint. Okay. Uh, now, which way will I go? I'll go down here first. Just gonna put a little bit of paint just there so I know where my edges are to keep in frame. Nothing worse than getting out of frame, is there? When you're trying to watch somebody and it's out of frame and you can't see what's going on and you're yelling at them, put it back in the frame, and of course they can't hear you. So just slowly tilting to stretch the rings out. And then we'll go up to the corner. And I think we'll come across to this corner next. Turn it around. Looking good there, I love that. Look at that gold and the black opening up there. It's just a matter of practicing with your ring paws to see how much paint you're going to need. Obviously you need enough to cover your surface, um, but you don't want to have too much that you're stretching it too far. So back into the middle there. Get that circle in the middle and then go off to the side. It just keeps your pattern a little bit nicer, I think. You're never going to have a total circle because, well, this is a, a rectangle for a start. But um, I like the movement. I don't mind a bit of movement in my paws. And I certainly don't like, I don't mind the little black corners. Just flip that around a bit. Hopefully that sunshine coming in is not annoying anyone too much. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Look at the gold against the black there. It's really shining in the sunlight too. Okay, last little corner off here. So I'm going to do a few of these uh, ring paws. I just want to try a few different colours out. So they're not going to be long videos, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm just going to do some a series of smaller ones like this, just trying out different colours. So you guys can see what works together and what doesn't work together. If you have any suggestions or you want me to try any particular colours, just let me know and I'll have a go. The gold is acting a little bit like a yellow does. So when it's hitting the red, red and yellow make orange. So it's kind of making a little bit of an orange I've noticed. Which is quite pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little black bit of black in that corner there. Turn that around so that I can just tilt towards you again. Now I've got quite a lot of black just here, so I'm gonna try and bring this down just a touch. I'm really liking how the, the white's showing up here. It's opening up. As you stretch, those rings open up and it gives you a really nice effect. And it's up to you to decide you know, how much you want to stretch that. Do you want your wider bands or do you, do you prefer more narrow little bands? I personally like a little bit of each. So 
I'll just wipe my finger under here just to get the paint out from underneath that card. I'll come around here and do this one because the paint sort of dripped onto the card a little bit. I just want to separate that. There we go. Oops, my shadow again across the window. It's pretty early. I think it's only about um, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't have to start work till 11. So I thought I'll do a quick pour and then I can go and jump in the shower and wash any paint off that I may have <laughs> and then get ready to go to work. Okay, so what do you think of that? A few tiny little cells popping up from... Um, because I have got a little bit of Floetrol in my mix. Love this, look at that red through the middle there. And I've got my gold, my bright gold on the corners there. And I'm glad I didn't put any more white in actually. I've just got a touch of white through here. A little bit of white, just an accent. I probably could have done with more red. Uh, you may remember I did three layers of the black. So maybe a bit more red next time. And but it's still really pretty. I'm happy with that. All right, I'll take you in for a close-up. Now, let me know what colours you'd like me to try, and I'll do a series of these. Um, I'll do sort of one black, one blue, one red, etc., etc., and then um, I'll get them laminated, and we can have a set of placemats. All similar design like this, but in different colours. I think that would be really nice, like if you did, say, a set of eight placemats, and then everyone's got a matching placemat for dinner. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay. Oops, I think that's about as close as I can get. And still keeping it in frame. Okay. Happy with that one. As I said, I could have done with a little bit more red maybe. Maybe I can try one without the white and see how that goes. Just so that we don't get as much grey. But I do like the light, the light little strips of the white in there okay so number one done and dusted i will see you for the next one bye for now